Welcome to Creators First. Today I'll be exploring some of the new features in Premiere Pro CC 2023. All of these features make Premiere Pro easier to use, but one feature in particular might just change how you edit videos, so buckle up. First, let's get a few of the smaller features out of the way. You can now choose from outer, inner, or centered strokes for text and graphics which opens the doors to a lot more creativity in your compositions. As you can see, I have much more control over the appearance of text and shapes, and I'm not stuck with just default stroke options. Another new feature is that you can now quickly and precisely align objects like text and shapes. One way to find these alignment tools is by right-clicking in the program monitor. By aligning objects to the video frame, you can easily center objects. You can also align objects to each other in the Essential Graphics panel. The objects need to be in the same clip, or else you won't see the alignment features. You have the option of choosing whether to align to a selection of objects, the video frame, or the video frame as a group. The difference is that video frame will center and overlap multiple objects, whereas a video frame as a group will center the group of objects without altering their distribution. One way to use this is to align a decorative border with a title. You can even distribute objects to make them evenly spaced. Trying to fidget with aligning things was really a nuisance and very imprecise in older versions of Premiere Pro, so I'm really pleased about this change. Another very useful feature for working with text and titles is that you can now edit multiple text clips at the same time. As you can see, I have these titles at the top of this course video, and now I can easily change the font, size, color, and background of everything at once. This is very time-saving, and I don't know how I ever lived without it. But the most powerful feature of all I have saved for last. This is only available in the beta version of Premiere Pro as of the recording of this video. You can now generate a special kind of transcript that is broken into multiple sections that synchronize with the individual audio clips on your timeline. When you edit the script, the timeline reflects those edits and vice versa. This allows you to edit using a transcript rather than having to rely on playing back the audio to listen for areas to make cuts or to locate footage. For example, in this project, I can see that I repeated the same sentence several times as I was trying to get a better take. I don't have to spend however many seconds or minutes it would be to listen to that, even at double speed. I can just select it and the timeline shows that area highlighted. Now I can simply remove that section using ripple delete. This cuts down my editing time substantially. Not only is it a benefit to save time editing, this also makes editing feel a lot less tedious because I don't have to listen to myself talk over and over again. This is revolutionary for video editing. It's like up until this moment, video editors were working blind. Now we can see what could not be seen before and quickly identify mistakes, unwanted takes, and other undesired audio. You can even search to isolate specific content within your dialogue. This type of technology can even be used to remove filler words like um, ah, and so on. It feels a little strange at first and may take some getting used to, but it really is a better way to work. I had already been using transcripts to locate specific areas of my videos, but this takes it to a whole new level of efficiency. I plan to use this new feature in my workflow going forward, and I can't see any reason to edit the old way ever again. I will mention that this is still in beta, so it's missing some features and will be even easier to use when it is finally released. The only downside is that it takes some time to transcribe the audio, especially on longer tracks. If all you need to do is make a couple of quick cuts to your audio, then this is not going to be a very efficient method of editing. But for most medium length and long videos, it's absolutely going to save you time. There you go, those were my top new features in Premiere Pro CC 2023. If you're a fellow content creator, be sure to check out more of my videos because this channel is all about being successful in the creator economy. Thanks for watching and stay creative.